Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this uh, quick tutorial from CG Factory and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to do uh, disintegration and reintegration effects uh, that you see in the screen. So let's go to Houdini and see how we can build this effect. So here uh, we have a pig head and it transforms into a rubber toy like this. Okay. So basically what's happening here is uh, the number of uh, poly counts uh, between the pig head and the rubber toy is uh, pretty similar although they are not equal. Uh, so what I'm doing is basically uh, using the point uh, to do a simple blend shape between tho those two uh, shapes and then adding a small top lens in between to give it some motion. So let's start from the beginning and see how we can get this effect. So let's start a new session and then we'll delete the file node and then we'll drop in our geometry. So we'll be using the taste geo pig head and taste geo rubber toy. All right. After this, what we want to do is make sure that they have a, a similar amount of a polygon between uh, these two geometry. Although they may not be that equal, uh, it is going to work, but it's better to have uh, equal amount of geometry so that there is no pop in between when there is a transition. So we'll drop a poly reduce node. And then in the poly reduce node, we'll uh, use the target to be poly output count. And then we'll bring it up to 2000. And we'll do the similar with the rubber toy. Right now, both of the geometry are not aligned properly. So what we will be doing is we'll drop in the transform node, and then we'll just translate the pig's head a little bit up in the y-axis. And also make sure in the poly count, uh, you select the preserve quad if you want to work with the quads. Uh, you can also work with the triangles, uh, but I prefer to work in the quads. And then uh, once we have done that, uh, we will be separating each faces to their individual primitive. So for that, we will be using facet node. And in the facet node, we'll make sure that we are using unique points for both the geometry. So after this, uh, what we'll be doing is we will be creating a point on each and every uh, face center. So to create that, we can use a primitive node. And inside the primitive node, uh, you turn on the do transformation. And then uh, for scale, we'll just go to 0, 0, 0. So right now, you can't see anything on the screen. So let me turn on display point. So here is our point. So if you look at the points, uh, so right now, there are multiple points uh, lying on the same space. What we want to do is we want to fuse those points so that there is just a single point on each of the face center. So for that, we'll be using Fuse. And then uh, make sure that uh, you turn off the remove degenerated points. OK. So we'll do the same thing with the rubber toy. So you can simply copy this and then just connect it with the rubber toy. So here we have uh, points that are quite similar in counts between the pig head and the rubber toy. And now if I drop in the blend shape I can transition between these two points all right now if I want to transform the geometry with this point what I can do is I can drop in another primitive node and I can hook up my second input to the blend shape and then first input to the facet node now if I look at it so nothing's happening uh, I need to do a I need to make sure that in the primitive node, the do transformation is turned on. So once you do that, uh, you can see that uh, the pig head geometry is all messed up, although it's retaining the shape. The reason that we are getting this result is because our point number does not match with the primitive number. So to do that, we need to short out the point number according to the primitive number. For that, well, what we will be doing is we will be creating an attribute. So we can just drop in the Wrangler node just after the facet. And then we'll just define our attribute called short, uh, which will be equal to our primitive number. So after the fuse uh, to 
sort out the point number what we'll be doing is we'll drop in the short node so in the point sort we'll select uh, by attribute and in the attribute we'll select short okay so now if you look at this uh, this point number matches perfectly with the primitive number okay so now if we go to the primitive that transforms the geometry according to the points you can see that our pig head geo is retaining its shape all right so we'll do the same thing uh, with the rubber toy as well so we'll drop in the wrangler node after the facet and we'll define a short node here as well and after the fuse we'll drop in the short node basically what short nodes does is it helps you rearrange the point number and the primitive number according to the attribute or the its position and also you can use a different expression to rearrange your point number so in the short node we'll select by attribute all right so we have done the same thing with the robotoy points so if we do the blend shape over here so same case so we'll just drop in the primitive we'll connect the second input uh, with the blend shape and the first input with the facet so here if we do the blend shape Oh, so we have we need to make sure that our do transformation in the primitive node is turned on All right So let's see what we get so here you can see that the rubber toy Points are transforming into a pig pig head as well as the primitives are transforming with the points so the next challenge would be is to match the orientation scale position of the primitives with the another geometry where it blends so for that uh, what we'll be using is we'll be using a for each shop so we'll just drop in the for each named primitive okay so for this uh, what we need is we need a, a name attribute for that what we'll be using is so we'll be using the uh, primitive number So this primitive number we'll use it, you will be using this primitive number as a name attribute uh, which we can use inside the forage so to do that first thing what we'll do is so we will drop in the wrangler node and then in the attribute wrangle we'll just uh, declare a integer uh, we'll call that a, a name which will be equal to our primitive number and then we'll look this up with the block begin and then if you look at it so we're getting in here uh, so maybe so I think uh, we need to change the Wrangler from points to primitive so now it's working properly so with the for each node well, what we'll be doing is we will be using the blend shape to match the position scale and orientation of the face uh, uh, between the two geometry so for that uh, what we need is a function that is similar to copy stamp uh, so uh, to do that uh, in for each what we have is we can we can create a metadata so if we go to the block begin and create input metadata what this gives is uh, this gives us the detail attribute uh, if you look at it here this gives us the detail attribute so uh, first up let's just go with a single pass and then if you select the metadata in the detail attribute you can see the, uh, it has iteration numeric iteration and value so here the value represents the piece attribute uh, so we will be using this uh, to evaluate the second input uh, for our blend shape so what we'll do is we'll just drop in the delete node and then we'll just uh, drag and drop our our metadata into the pattern all right so here uh, we will select uh, the detail attribute for that we'll just do a detail 
and then this would be inside the code. So this would be the path which we want to access and then we need to uh, specify the uh, string so that would be value and after this uh, so 2 would be the index number so here if you look at it so instead of um, uh, s delete selected we'll just select delete non selected you can see this uh, matches with the single pass function that we are using here so now if we do a blend shape between these two geometry alright so we'll turn off the single pass function here so this is the result with the blend shape that we have applied uh, with the point transformation so what this uh, blend shape inside the 4H will do is it will help us to deform each and every individual primitive to the incoming second geometry due to the uh, vertex numbering there will be some issue with the normal and you may encounter a lot of holes so to fix that what I've done is used a polyfill uh, this will cover all the holes so now if we do a blend shape so first blend shape we will be doing is with the points so we will transform these points to the position of the incoming rubber toy like so and then in the second blend shape which is inside the forage loop we'll also blend it between the incoming primitive number that is coming from the rubber toy stream okay so this is the basic uh, concept on how I did the uh, integration and disintegration effects inside of Houdini. So let me quickly go uh, run you through the script uh, that I'll be attaching down in the description below. So here uh, in the script, uh, what you'll find is uh, same thing. So here is the initial setup uh, to match the uh, number of prim primitives between these two geometry. Uh, just after the facet, uh, what I've done is I've used the short node so that my primitives numbers are aligned according to the y-axis. And then after this, created a short node, and then I've used the primitive node to get a center point for each and every individual primitive. And after that, I've used the fuse, same as before, and short node to rearrange the point number according to the primitive number. So after this, uh, there is a small uh, particle node uh, which I've used, uh, so we so that it gives us a very basic turbulence if, uh, turbulence kind of motion all right and then uh, here uh, just after the particle node what I've done is I've, I've, cre I've, I've created another node uh, called is and that is being fit inside the value of 0.1 and 1 so this value goes to our blend shape uh, which will create a blend shape according to the is so this is the uh, blend shape that I'm using so for this I'm using a LARP function so this vector vector pose one uh, is the position data that is coming from this input so that is the data that comes from the turbulence and the vector pose two is uh, using a point function to access the data from the rubber toy geometry and what this LARP function is doing is basically it's doing a blend shape uh, between these two vector but the blend shape is hap happening according to the is of the particle so here you can see the blend shape doesn't happen to all the particles but to few particles and gradually uh, the blend shape value increases according to the particle is so this function helps you do that so the easier method to do this is to use a uh, pop stop so let me quickly show you that as well so we can drop in the attribute bob we plug in our first input here and then we'll plug in our second input over here inside the bob stop so basic thing what we can do is we're just doing a mix between uh, two position so we can drop in the mix okay so the first input would be the position data from the first input and the second input will just import the attribute so we'll do a uh, point attribute import and and for this we'll select a uh, second input and then that will be the position data 
we plug this in here we'll use the age data uh, as a bias uh, to blend between these two position so basically you can use the lar function uh, so you with the attribute wrangle or you can use the attribute bob and after this uh, it's very similar to the uh, demo that we just saw earlier so here in the primitive node you can see that a pig heads disintegrates from below because of the short that we did all the way up here and then after that uh, we have created a wrangler uh, a node uh, to create a class attribute and then same thing here we are using for each node and then we are creating a metadata uh, we are feeding this metadata into a delete node and then we are doing a blend shape over here and here also I'm doing a uh, attribute transfer to transfer the color attribute from the robot Y to the pigs geometry and after this so there's a polyfill after that if you go to the end the pig head transform into a robot Y finally what I've done in the script is I've created an alpha attribute to uh, get the transparency between uh, the two input geometry and then here uh, this is the final output this is how I achieve this uh, disintegration and reintegration inside of Houdini you can use volume points to do a uh, blend shape between uh, different uh, geometry so if you look at the description below you can see the hip file or uh, you can access the file and go through it if you have any questions related to this uh, tutorial please do let me know in the comments I hope you like this tutorial thank you